What did that guy say from the movie Independence Day? I'm back. Hey, just a little humor. Trying to be funny there. Maybe I'll stick to my uh, real job, right? Anyway, this is Everyman with Everyman's 40K channel. And yes, I'm back. So about four to five months ago, uh, we talked about what the look ahead for 2023 was going to be. And I referenced that I was going to get a new 3D printer and that we were going to start a major project, which is this towel project that you see in front of you. So over the last few months, I have been printing up a storm. Uh, no, it does not take that long to print up an army. It doesn't take four or five months. Uh, I've been doing this slowly, plus doing other things. But in front of you, what I'm going to show you today is where we're at. And this is going to be the opening video for the major towel project that is going to finish in a full display board. Now that display board and the project is not going to be finished probably until next year, 2024, around this time frame. It's going to take a whole year to get this done with the amount of detail that I have to put into these miniatures, painting and everything, assembly, getting the board done plus play testing and it's it's going to take a long time this is not just going to be something that i'm going to slam in six months and be ready for like the march uh gt here and locally it's probably going to be for the 2025 gt year cycle rtt's you know painting competitions and so on so these miniatures or these parts that came out of my printer I got to give a shout out to the creator, the content creator. Her name is Piper Makes. And what I'll do is I'll put a, a few pictures up here and I'll give you some time now. I'll talk over these pictures. But Piper Makes is kind of known for her Tau Mecca or her fish suits, as she calls them. A lot of people, you know, give her crap about her fish suits or whatever. Um, there's a tabletop titans adrian if you've watched his videos or that tabletop titans videos and when he busts out his tau uh those tau specifically on you know their battle reports came from piper's piper makes so that's what these are in front of you now we'll get into the 3d printing of these a little bit later this is not going to be a 3d printing channel so we're not going to talk about dialing in a 3d printer and all the stuff that's involved with that it's actually pretty easy but again this is just the opening video for the project and to let you guys know where we're at each one of these buckets is a unit so i have a sky ray here i got a piranha here i got my far sight as you can see here vespid crute hounds more vespid some clear uh, stealth suits and so on and so forth I'm not gonna go over every single one of these just to let you know I'm getting ready to start the project and again this is the opening video this is gonna be quick here is my list so I want you guys to see this is my first shot at a list so check that out okay and now leave any comments uh, any concerns with the list? Uh, there are some things that aren't super competitive. There are, you know, competitive stuff in there. So again, okay, like I said, we're going to keep this short. This is it. I'm going to go show you the room, my printing room, the printer, kind of that setup. We're going to come back and we're going to do a wrap up. So there's the chaos board. That's its resting spot. Basically downstairs in a downstairs bedroom, I've turned one of the bathrooms into my little hobby room or my printing room so 3d printing does not take up a ton of space 
right? Depending on the size of your printer, you can actually do a lot. Here is the sink that's in the restroom. I took and I made like a little cardboard paint booth, as you can see here. And then here is my printing cleaning station. That is a mean green, non-toxic. So I use non-toxic materials to clean. I got my isopropyl alcohol, medical. You don't have to get the 95%. This stuff from Walmart works. $2 and 30 some cents for that bottle right there. So really cheap. This is my resin. I'm using Sun Lu. Again, $40 for 2K worth of resin. Here's again, cleaning station. There's my airbrush for when I need to do some airbrushing. So coming around. So here's my printer. Sonic Mini 8K. There is the vat of soup or basically the resin. There's the plate. So again, it doesn't take a lot of resources, doesn't take a lot of time and effort. This whole thing has been very simple, very easy to get into 3D printing. Now, the next thing is we're going to go ahead. I'm going to clean this table off and we're going to do a shadow sun first. So what we're going to do is, again, set this thing up, clean everything up. We're going to focus on the shadow sun. Then we're going to do a cold star commander and we're going to work our way down the list. All right, guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the intro, the change, please let me know. Leave a message in the comments or a little note in the comment section. Please hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and hit that like button. Again, like we always say on the channel, may all your dice rolls come up sixes unless you're looking for that one. Peace out, everybody.